probably one of the only Ibrahim Al Qureshi fragrances that I actually saw some hype on on YouTube. Let's talk about it. My name is Neeb. Welcome back to Aromatics. Today, we're going to be talking about the one and very few fragrances from Ibrahim Al Qureshi that I actually saw reviews of prior to me picking them up, and it's called Blue Oud about the fragrance brand is it is a niche brand based out in Saudi Arabia. They specialize in, in fragrances and perfumery and oud and bakhoud and all that stuff. Therefore, it classifies them as a niche brand. They've got plenty of different collections. They've got a musk collection, blueberry musk, by the way, fantastic fragrance. They've got a tobacco collection of which I have a lot of and you will see a lot more of those. They have oud al hail which I do also own and a lot more fragrances, which we will be jumping into very, very soon. Notes of this fragrance include blue lilies, oud, patchouli leather, tobacco, and amber. All right, so let's go ahead and get this on a tester strip, refresh my memory, and also take a look at the way the atomizer works on this bad boy. So here we go. Not bad, nothing crazy. Right off the bat, this is extremely dry, you guys. This is not a mass appealing fragrance by any means. This is an absolutely oud-centric fragrance. And the type of quality of oud in this fragrance is gonna be one that's really, really inky. I mean, this smells like blue ink, straight up. The blue lilies in this fragrance, it does not contribute anything floral, but rather it does give an overall blue quality or a blue vibe. Unusual, very unusual, actually. Usually blue notes are contributed to something fresh, maybe a little bit salty, aquatic. This is completely, well, it's anything but that, literally. It's straight up dry woods. But the fact that there is this blue vibe basically just makes it feel like or smell like blue ink. If you could picture blue ink, literally blue ink, that's what this smells like, honestly. And I know a lot of people are probably gonna be like, who the hell wants to smell like that? Well, if you have a more trained nose or if you're more apt to enjoying oud fragrances, then it's an acquired taste. And that's why it's a niche fragrance. It's something that's not going to appeal to the masses. It's more specialized. It's going to cater to a bit more of a specific audience. Believe it or not, it actually works because there's more to it than just an ink vibe. It's not just an ink based fragrance by any means. If I drew a couple of resemblances to other famous fragrances, which also has this similar dry inky vibe or oud fragrance, like Ombre Nomad. Believe it or not, this smells a little bit like Ombre Nomad. The only difference and the main difference that you're gonna not detect with this in comparison to Ombre Nomad is gonna be two notes rather. It's gonna be saffron and it's gonna be raspberry. If you strip away the raspberry and the saffron, so a little bit of that spicy metallic vibe with that fruitiness, you're basically gonna get this. This smells like Ombre Nomad without both of those facets. And honestly, it's extremely strong. So although it is in that same family or category of fragrances, which is a pretty unisex fragrance, I would define this as a little bit more of a masculine based fragrance. And not only because of the fact that it strips away the, uh, you know, the unisex aspects like the raspberry and the saffron, but also because it adds more of an earthiness from that patchouli and the leather and tobacco. So near the mid to dry down, you're gonna get a hefty dose of leather. Like it's extremely in your face. And some of that tobacco starts to show itself uh, during the later dry down. But I distinctively remember getting that oody, woody, blue ink vibe into a patchouli and straight up leather. This is a fragrance that you're gonna get almost every single note of. You're gonna get every single one of those notes that are listed in the note breakdown. But surprisingly enough, although you can sense the malt, they're extremely well blended. While it is pretty well blended, it's still extremely, I mean, extremely testy. This is not going to be for the mass appealing uh, crowd, but believe it or not, I did get a compliment while wearing this fragrance. And this is one of those fragrances where if you don't wear it, it wears you. Extremely serious, but if you enjoy fragrances like Ombre Nomad, I'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy this one too. It strips away a little bit of that sparkle, makes it a little bit more definitive, more masculine, and the performance on this is easily 24 hours. So just like the note breakdown, not too complex, pretty simple, but a great smelling fragrance. Performance on this bad boy, beast mode. I can't really say anything more than that. It's straight up beast mode. On colding, like I said, two plus days. That's all you really need to know, man. Dry, inky, woody, extremely strong and it smells actually pretty good although it is a pretty simple breakdown it's not a simple fragrance by any means not bad scent profile wise i think that this one deserves an eight and a half out of ten i don't think that this is an absolute must-have and not only that but its complexity makes this one a be careful but definitely a great fragrance. If I had to rate it for how good it's doing what it does, I'd give it a 10 out of 10 because it does what it's doing unapologetically and in a fantastic way. 
So if you like any of the descriptors, if you like oud fragrances, if you like ombre nomad and you want something that's a little bit more distinctive or more masculine and stronger, go with blue oud by Ibrahim Al Qureshi. That's all I have to say about this fragrance. I think that it might be slightly overhyped, but it's still a fantastic fragrance. It smells great if you like dry inky oud and it does have a backbone of leather and a little bit of patchouli, tobacco, and amber. Let me know down in the comments if anything I said interests you or if you own this fragrance and what you think about it. And while you're down there, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and until the next video, peace.